guarantee this man about to teach us something. For sure. What is good? Welcome back to the Flawedcast. I am your boy Flawzilla, and I am here with my lovely, lovely co-host Mozilla. What up, yo? This is the last normal place on the internet, and I am glad that you could be here with us today. All right, okay. <laughs> You're still supposed to say it with me. All right. Uh, and you will be too by the end of this video. I guarantee it or your money back. I'm going to get this. <laughs> uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we drop. You ain't forget that though, did you? You ain't forget that at all. No, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this video is a Thomas Sowell video. Uh, it's called The Diversity Delusion. And I just thought that sounded interesting. That's why we've been picking videos today. Mm -hmm. We wa just watched the Larry Elder video because it sounded interesting. And now we're watching The Diversity Delusion because it sounds interesting. Yeah. So... Uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into this thing, man. Spaghetti. Please hit that like button. I beg of you. Please. It helps more than you think. More than you know. All right. More than go. you know. More than you know. I'm Canadian now. More than you know. No, I don't sound Canadian. <laughs> or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Tom Sowell on diversity. Quote, if there is any place in the Guinness Book of World Records for words repeated the most often over the most years without one speck of evidence... Diversity should be a prime candidate. <laughs> is diversity our strength or anybody's strength anywhere in the world? It has not been our diversity, but our ability to overcome the problems inherent in diversity and to act together as Americans that has been our strength. Mm -hmm. Again, how did diversity how did diversity come to be this kind of totem in society to which we must all Oh, it's, it's applying the propaganda uh, uh, principles of, of Nazi uh, propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels, who said that, you know, people will believe any lie if it's big enough and told often enough and yep. loud enough. Yeah. And uh, this lie has been told. If you, if you look at, see, diversity is really another name of what used to be called balkanization. And they had to get rid of that because if you, if you looked at the Balkans, you would see that the horrors that have gone on there have outstripped anything that has ever happened in the United States. Uh, back in, in the 1970s, when I was running a research project in Washington. Hold on, what do you say? Diversity is just be is renamed as balkanization? Or it was, it gotten renamed to diversity? Is that what he's saying? I think so. Okay. So That's how I took it. I don't understand what that means. I don't know what the, I, he's probably going to explain it, but I. I don't, I've never heard of that. Me either. Hold on. I was confused for a second there. If you look at, see, diversity is really another name of what used to be called balkanization. And they had to get rid of that because if you, if you looked at the Balkans, you would see that the horrors that have gone on there have outstripped anything that has ever happened in the United States. Uh, back in, in the 1970s, when I was running a research project in Washington on American ethnic groups, a, a, a Yugoslav uh, scholar came by to visit me and he said, you think blacks and whites in America have a problem? The problems of blacks and whites in America is nothing compared to the problem of Serbs and Croats in Yugoslavia. And if you read the horrors that have occurred there, uh, I'll, I'll just mention one, throwing people's babies in the air and catching them on bayonets and forcing the parents to watch it while it happened. I mean, we have not reached that point yet, even though we are headed in that direction. Uh, what? Diversity is not their strength. The ability to deal with the problems of diversity, that is outstanding. Yeah, that just made me sick to my stomach. Right. Or was. Hold on. At the same time you're getting all this melding of diversity, there's an extremely narrow ideological conformity that's being enforced. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still confused. So, is he saying that diversity, like, hold on, I, I don't know what he's saying diversity is. So is he saying that diversity is so what I think what I what I know of diversity, let me just explain that first, because this this is what I'm having trouble with. Mm -hmm. So diversity is multi mul like bun bunch of different types of people all in one place. Cultures, right. Yeah. Bringing bringing different types, different rep other other people being represented in in a thing. Right. So different types of things together. Yeah. So. Like what they try to what they try to promote diversity is is like having 
more types of people there, but he's, I don't understand what he's saying. He's saying like the people of the, of the Yugoslavia are, they're beefing. Is like, what are they beefing for? Is, I don't he like, said, yeah, I'm, he said I'm that confused. There's though. two different types of people in Yugoslavia beefing, right? Yeah. Croats the and Cro Serbs. Yep. But that wasn't the Balkans that he was talking about in the first before that. I know, but right? even then, I don't know. I what was he's confused saying, with all of it. Honestly, I'm not confused. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure what is he saying. Like the diversity, the Balkanization is the two people, the the groups of people fighting each other. Is that, or is he saying? I think Balkans is a group of people. I. <laughs> I'm confused. Bro, too. that's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking. What I'm saying is, what is the balkanization? What is the thing that he is talking about? Like, he's saying that balkanization, diversity is the new name for balkanization. What does that mean? Does that mean putting the Balkans into the middle of that situation? Like, forcing, like, trying to force groups together? Like I don't, I don't know where the what the problem. Like I just don't get what's being said. Like he, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So Balkans. I mean, not the Balkans. Diversity is being sold to you as anti like it's it's gonna get like that's how you get rid of racism and stuff like it's a good thing but are is he saying like diversity without trying to make the people understand each other like forcing groups together is that what he's saying like forcing groups together and just saying get along is the issue or is he saying like is he saying like that's a natural thing that does happen people are going to fight each other if you try to force them together or like well, I don't get what's being said. I just looked up the definition of balkanize, mm -hmm. balkanization definition. And it says divide parentheses, a region or body into smaller, mutually hostile states or groups. And then the exam the sentence is ambitious neighbors would snatch pieces of territory, balkanizing the country. Okay. Okay. So, oh, okay. Okay. So is he saying, okay, so. Americans on them. Uh, I mean, I mean, white people come into America and then you just like you create people who are like black people are here and then you create you. you. I don't get it, actually. So it's it's create It's putting people into small groups. So we're all American, then putting it into white and black. Is that what he's saying? That makes sense. Right. Because and then it's they may it's if it's a new word for that. So diversity really means to divide. OK. Right? Okay. Yeah. But even though it's like not, it's supposed to be the opposite. They tell you. Okay. So is he? So is it? They're just using a word and meaning something totally different by it, and we think that it means something else. I'm yeah. just confused of what, what he was trying to say. I'm just, I just got so confused. Let's see. Maybe yeah, he goes maybe more he, into maybe it. Can, yeah. I, don't know, I just I thought, thought he was over, over that point. But yeah, all right. I was confused. I was, too. I was confused about the balkanization shit. Like, Me too. What did the Balkans do? Because he said it's, uh, he just said the Balkans, if was, you saw what happened with the Balkans and then just kept going, yeah, I just don't know what was, that is. It wasn't like anything in the United States or something like that. Yeah. And I just don't know what he's even saying the issue like is. Like we should already know, I yeah, think is what maybe. he was talking about. That might it. be it. That might be it. Maybe we, maybe we jumped into a video without understanding what we were getting into. Maybe. That is awesome. All right. All was. At the same time you're getting all this melding of diversity, there's an extremely narrow ideological conformity that's being enforced. So we have diversity in the way people look, mm -hmm. the ethnic groups or from which they come, the parts of the country from which they come. But once you arrive, you'd better start thinking the way we do. Yes. I still get emails from students, you know, who say that, you know, when they raise any issues uh, that go against the professor's ideology, they just get ridiculed. And let's say you're on the admissions committee at Harvard, mm. and you're going to choose so many people. You're going to let people in for a variety of reasons. One is sheer academic merit. Uh, they scored 1,600 on the college boards. Mm. That's a good 
entry. They've got a brilliant uh, academic and athletic background, mm. and they happen to be a virtuoso violin player. Okay, mm -hmm. bro. Oh, yeah. And the violin <laughs> player helps. Yeah. Or let's say they come from Nevada, mm, and they don't right. have a lot of Nevadans yeah. at Harvard. And let's also say <laughs> that they uh, are come from uh, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. They don't have many people from Sri Lanka yes. there. And let's also say that, that they also are African American. Mm -hmm. And that that ought to be a factor in in choosing from that pool. Maybe that's one of the because, considerations. Because what? Because there's uh, none of them there. Because diversity of a student now, body I, I is a healthy factor. I, I'm I'm fascinated with the extent to which words we, we're we're conditioned to react like Pavlov's dog. Okay, to words. so I yeah, hear. he's talking about Diverse. the words. Someone was asking. They'll make me look bad, professor. <laughs> Someone today who was, a, who, was a, who, was a, who was a trustee of a college was saying that the, they were going to pick a new college professor. I said, what you should do is have a stopwatch there yeah. and just count how long it is until to, 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 to each of the uh, contestants says the word diversity. Yeah. And the guy who says it, you know, he's 35 minutes into the interview. And the other guy who says it, you know, the first sentence, the guy who said it takes 35 minutes, he should be at the top of the list. The guy who said it the first <laughs> sentence should be at the bottom. Because the well, question well, is, what's wrong with diversity? I don't get the point. My point is that this is a word that has become magic. What does it mean, if anything? Are you saying to me that all black people are alike, therefore you've got to mix and match by race? It's not diverse unless it's diverse along these no, dimensions? No, I'll tell you what I'm saying. I'm saying that I think that it would be different to have people of different kinds of experiences. Uh, and we mentioned Sri Lanka, didn't we? And, you know, and it'd be interesting to have some people uh, with an Asian oh, wait, background. No, no, wait, wait. wait, wait, an Asian background, African-American, uh, people uh, that come from uh, Fifth Avenue and Park Avenue, as well as from Henderson, North Carolina. All of that would make a healthy student body. You mean to tell me? I don't me. think everybody ought to come from uh, sons of, okay. of uh, Harvard uh, graduates. I mean, All right. I don't, daughters. Know, I don't know how I feel about it. Partly because they, they're not always the best students. No, that's right. But, but uh, uh, all right. Um, that argument, I, I think, that, does, that doesn't make it. I, I, I uh, slipped my point there for, for a minute. Well, I mean, I, 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 you have thought long and hard about this and, and much longer than I have, and you bring to bear. No, but, but wait, much, wait. But, but that, that, that's the theory. That's the theory. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the facts are quite different. At places like Harvard and Stanford and right. Cornell, what you, what you have is the black son of the black doctor right, who right, lived in the same right, neighborhood right. with the white son of the white doctor right, right, right. and now you're giving me diversity because these two people well, probably were not all, no, someplace. No, 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 not necessarily okay. have scholarships okay, that they so, offer the kids who are not okay so the first part of the video he was it, it didn't even matter what we were talking about yes he was just <laughs> saying the word diversity is used to make you think shit is actually diverse and yes. it's really not. They just use that word and you look at them like, yep. oh, they're not racist because they said diversity. They want diversity. Yep, they but have, the people there aren't really diverse. It's really just like you said, they have a they have a black guy there, but he's the doctor, son of a doc uh, of a doctor, black, a black doctor who lives in the suburbs. Who's you know what I mean? Yeah, so they don't actually the, the high up the 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 the. The, it's really classes. It still becomes yes. classism. In the yes. End. The the rich the rich rich people do not really want to mix with the lowest of the yep. people. So they find the highest of that group of that group that they can find in a specific group that they're looking yep. into. It's not really diverse at That's all crazy. because you have to move out of that group in f for it to actually be diversity. Yeah. So they use the word diversity to make it uh, make it appear. Yep. As if it's a facade. Yes. It's yes, a it's a fucking facade. Is what it is. Because okay. he said, like he I said, I was confused. Maybe, yep, maybe, like, see, but that's why I like this. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was gonna say as soon as he said the when you say diverse, when you say you're putting all black people in one class, yes. all Asian people in one class, just because you have one black person in the school doesn't yep. mean it's that's diverse. All, exactly. Because There's, that black person is not the same mm -hmm. as that black person. Exactly. It's not the same as that black person. Mm -hmm. You have to let all of everybody in, period, for it to actually be diverse. <laughs> you would just have to be letting people in, just like doors open, run yep. in, for it to actually be diverse. Huh. That's interesting. That's wild. But like what I was saying was, that's why I like people, people try to, People want us to not have these conversations in these For videos. Real. They they think that we're we're watching this video and we already are aware of what's happening. And like I saw someone say, do a little research and then come back and then watch a video. Like I'm doing the research, this watching the video. This is the research. This is this is why I record myself do this. This we're is why learning. I record us doing this. So you can see 
what it that we're not afraid to not know things for real we're the and learn average things. people we're mm -hmm. just normal people and we probably might have got that shit wrong for real and then you guys comment and then we watch another and video then and we then learn, we understand it better and we learn from your comments that's the whole, i'm not pretending to be a genius for real I'm and not we say it every time anything. yes we say we don't know what we're talking about on i just this, see people comment these together. things <laughs> and they're like they still don't get that part they have selective hearing yeah but uh I don't understand. That's why I sit here, pause the videos, we have these conversations, and that's the content. Legit. That's the that's content our, you're getting from this channel. That's our point. That's the whole point <laughs> of this whole thing. Just to show conversation and just our dynamic. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just, I don't know, however it helps, and I guess it is helping because we almost had 100K, baby. Hell yeah, but, uh, yeah, just wanted <laughs> to clarify that because I know people are going to be like, uh, don't pause the video so much, then you probably would have <laughs> saw this by. But like, that's the whole point. I'm not trying to just watch the whole video and not say anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want to <laughs> gr understand it fully. This is how I fully understand yes. it by breaking it down piece by piece, going and then I can go back watch it again. All these things, like watching the whole thing through, I'll forget majority of the things that was even yep. said if I don't talk about it. Exactly, and that's what's going through our head while we're watching the video. So why wouldn't exactly. we just talk about it? People are exactly. annoying. Don't watch reaction videos or whatever. If you're gonna have a problem uh, point react, of view with reactions, videos. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. If you're right. gonna, you know what I'm saying? I, it's just annoying. I don't even like that. I have to explain that, and I know other people are probably like, "Don't even explain yourself," but they don't understand that. I'm maybe maybe that explanation just helps someone understand. Yeah. Why I do it, and yeah. that it's not just it. Like, if you don't like what it is, that's why the the link is in the description to watch the other video. Yeah. But this is our content, so just know. This We're is the type fun. of shit you're going to get. I'm mm -hmm. not always going to know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I know about certain things and then I can have crazy conversations. Yeah. But this is, this is, uh, this is true. What he's saying. This is fun. This is fun. I love it. Me too. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Plus these two people well, probably wouldn't let go no, someplace. No, 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 not necessarily. They have scholarships that they offer to kids who but, are but, not but the that, son that, but, but now we're getting away from the whole racial thing. I'm saying the racial thing has been used as a proxy for something that is not a proxy for. Because the vast majority of blacks who go to places like Harvard and, Col and Cornell and Stanford are not blacks from the ghetto. Those mm -hmm. are blacks from out there. You know, they're from Malibu. They're uh, you just know, the they're same from as the white Palisades. people out there. Yeah. Because uh, they're it's from not, Rebecca. it's, it's, because it's, it's classism. Yeah. That's what no one's getting. It's not racism, it is classism. Yeah. They're the same as the white people from that neighborhood and the Indian people from that neighborhood and the Asian people from that yeah. neighborhood. They're all the same ideals and beliefs. They are all from that area because they are what they are. They're rich and it, yeah. they have that. It's classism before it's racism. You're, people think about it from race Legit. automatically. You're forced to live next to somebody. And I understand why people do that because that's the thing you see. Yeah. You look at somebody, you see With race. Your eyes. Yeah. And your brain automatically wants to think familiar, familiarity and like compare it to yeah. things that look the same. And your brain does it automatically. So that's why they've taken advantage of race because race is an easy thing to take advantage of because we're always gonna do things in a certain way because of how we see like you're gonna judge humans judge yeah like we're never not going to judge not judging will have you dead tomorrow like you have to have judgment yeah better judgment or worse judgment like we're always gonna judge people think that they can get rid of judgment but you're always going to see somebody and compare them to things from your past and compare them to things that you know compare them to things that you've seen and that's the first thing you see is somebody's race somebody's look yeah you know what i'm saying so of course we judge books by their cover it happens but i'm more i'm i'm open like and people say sorry to me for that a lot in the comments but like at least you're open-minded enough to click the video yeah and learn that it's not that that's the part that matters that's where people they call you racist but we all do these things and that's how they've taken advantage of it it's things that we're going to do no matter what and if it was if it, if it benefited them it wouldn't be racist you know what i'm saying but because it they need to make you feel shame for it. It's racist today, you know? Mm -hmm. But you're not wrong for judging a book by its cover if you're willing to read the book. That's natural. Yeah. If you're willing to read a book, then there's really nothing wrong with it. You basically didn't even judge the book by its cover. Yeah. You judged you it, but it you still read, read it. Flip it over and read what it's about, at yeah. least. Legit. So, yeah. And okay, so forth. And Malibu, uh, you know, they're from Pacific Palisades, uh, they're but, from Winnetka, and okay, so forth, and, they, and they're, they're from the very some same neighborhoods, they're from the very same neighborhoods but as the whites there, and so, and so now you call it diversity, right. because you see something with, 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 with the naked eye. Explain why multiculturalism, if you would, is bad. Okay, Tucker. <laughs>
I guess it starts from a false premise, uh, which is that there's something uh, that, all, that all cultures are equal in some undefinable sense, which has never been the case. I mean, some cultures are better at some things, worse at yep. other things. Yep. Uh, and at particular part times in history, uh, one group's culture may be ascendant and another time in other groups. But what you almost never see is what they assume is a norm, namely all groups performing pretty much the same Ever. in all mm -hmm. kinds of fields across the board. That you, you, you can go through centuries of history without finding a single example of that. That's because you, you, culture is different than ethnicity or race. I'm saying ethnicity is different. Like they have different ethnicities have cultures, but like race, uh, like black people's culture, like the culture of a certain type of black person is different from the culture of a, of another type of black person. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's it's normal culture for like like gang banging is a part of ghetto culture. Culture, you know, what I'm saying there's white there's light, white people in gangs, there's black people in gangs, yeah. but gang banging is a part of the culture. It's part yes. of that type of culture, and 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 like not not finishing school you know what i'm saying like not not doing things that yeah dropping out yes dropping out you know what i'm saying not not being able to fucking not doing things that help you in your future yep. you know what i'm saying and it seems like it's set up like that getting but, arrested uh, yeah but it's but it's something that if it is set up like that it's something that we're aware of you know what i'm saying we are fully aware of it and we should be doing what yes. we can to stop our kids from being a part of it but people won't do that work and then they blame the government they blame white mm -hmm. people they blame all these other people but like that shit starts at home bro Absolutely. it starts at home and i understand the parents probably victims of the same thing da, 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 but yes. whoever is aware of it is the one that should be doing the work whichever whenever they became aware of it the work should have started yep. being done yep you know what I'm saying? That's the facts. Absolutely. You're still sitting in your victimhood. You're, you're sitting yourself. in that situation. Yes. You know what's happening. Like change if you, it for you. change exactly. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. That's that's like that's something that I've realized over the past mm -hmm. few years. You say that that assumption, in fact, holds different groups down. You write, quote, multiculturalism, like the caste system, paints people into the corner where they happen to have been born. But at least the caste yep. system doesn't claim to benefit those at the bottom. Uh, absolutely. So when the multiculturalists say, for example, that uh, the school should not try to uh, uh, make uh, black students uh, speak standard English, uh, the difference between speaking standard English and not speaking standard English can be huge in terms of your, your job, your careers, and mm -hmm. all sorts of other things. The key word among advocates of multiculturalism became diversity. Ah, yes. Sweeping ah, claims yes. for the benefits of demographic and cultural diversity have prevailed without a speck of evidence being asked for or given. Name a few institutions in which diversity is championed without so, without evidence. Gosh, the question would be the name one way. Well, that isn't the case. The uh, I would say the whole Ivy League, uh, mm -hmm. Stanford, uh, Berkeley, corporate America. Yes, it is, it's really it's really miraculous almost. I mean, I can't think of a word that has gained such widespread use and which is utterly unchallenged without one speck of evidence. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at societies that are diverse, they have all they can do to avoid uh, bl mutual bloodshed. I mean, India, for example, is very diverse. And, and you know, the-, the, the It bar barely coheres as a nation. Uh, that's right. When, when, when India <laughs> uh, was given its freedom by Britain and split into in India and Pakistan, I mean, the number of people slaughtered between Hindus and Muslims ran into the hundreds of thousands. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna uh, <sighs> react to that next video. I just saw tomorrow or something. Uh, how how school is brainwashing your children? Yeah. Thomas Sowell. I'm absolutely interested in that. But uh, he mm. killed that. He killed that. And he I did. love the discussion. I love the discussion that came from that. We that was this is one of my favorite videos we've yeah. recorded. I'm not gonna lie. Me too. That, that was, was good. like yeah. I like I liked like. I like learning. Yes, that's what it, <laughs> that's really what it is. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I like learning. Yeah. I like not knowing what I'm talking about and then having Trying to be like, to boom, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I literally just learned from that video. Absolutely. Fire. That was Fire. fun, baby. Fire. Appreciate you guys, man, for tuning Hell in. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop Floods, uh if you want us to react to a different tommy solo video just mention it in the comments and yeah we will get to it i promise uh yeah. so yeah remember to always stay flaw don't you dare try to play flaw and if you see me in the streets then you better say hey lord Go to sleep at night, at night I had a dream that I could do my thing And everywhere I went the people knew my name Some people hated all the truth I bring But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame I had a dream that I could do my thing And everywhere I went the people knew my name Some people hated all the truth I bring But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame